All right, so we're recording. <laughs> so the first thing we want to do is be able to construct a triangle congruent to triangle ABC using the side-side-side congruence postulate. So the very first thing we're going to do is copy one of the sides. So I'm just going to copy side AC first. <coughs> And I'm basically going to just draw a ray that would extend past the length of segment AC. Let's make that point X right there. Now, um, what we want to do is copy AC. And so we open our compass way up. Hopefully your compass is big enough it opens that far. Okay, we just make a little mark there. And then we copy the segment. Right there. I'm going to call it point Z. Okay. So, so far we have one side copied. Now, since we're going to be using side, 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 we need to copy all three sides. So we're going to shrink this down a little bit. And we're going to copy segment BC now. So we open up our compass, the length of BC. And then from point Z, which is the corresponding point, we're going to make an arc. We make it a little bit bigger here because we don't know exactly where that, that corresponding point for point B is going to be. It's somewhere, however, on that arc. Then we also copy segment AB here. So now we have the length of AB. We move to the corresponding point X, and we draw an arc. And we know that the congruent segment is going to be somewhere on this arc. And in fact, it's going to be right at the intersection. We'll make that point Y there. And now just connect the endpoints. Okay. And that's how to copy a triangle using side, side, side.